Bob this is to operate. One and two online. All right, let's go. Roger. This is the state-of-the-art hovercraft, known as the LCAC, or Landing Craft Air Cushion. I think that the British have taken the hovercraft to one level, and we've taken it from there and just moved on with it. LCACs weigh 100 tons each. They carry four gas turbine engines of 4,000 horsepower, a total of 16,000 horsepower. fan module, you have two lift fans on either side of the boat. They generate all the air that gives you lift and some propulsion. Right here you have a, a, the gearbox and the hydraulic system. The engines sit perpendicular to the drivetrain. The filtration is, is a lot like a helicopter. Marine gas turbines don't like dirty fuel and they don't like dirty air, so the filtration system is, is designed to take out everything under the sun. The prop is a carbon fiber, it's 18 foot in diameter and it's shrouded by uh, a aluminum skin that you can see. Behind the prop is a set of two rudders. Those are what's used to, to steer the after end of the boat along with uh, variable pitch propeller. The technology is phenomenal. From the old days of the old conventional landing craft to what we have now is apples and oranges. The LCAC transports Marines and their equipment between ship and shore. They can carry up to 75 tons of equipment over 200 miles. Their motto is, no beach out of reach. Learning to fly this amazing machine requires high-tech training techniques. This LCAC simulator cost $30 million. The computer controls in the cockpit use fly-by-wire, the same technology that operates an F-14 aircraft. Where are we doing? What are you doing? That way, I. Forward. Hold on now. there. Hold on. Hold on. It crashed. After just 18 weeks, the enlisted trainees have the opportunity to practice maneuvering the real thing. There's no margin for error. Landing the LCAC on a ship demands extraordinary skill and nerves of steel. The Navy has commissioned 91 LCACs, divided into two assault squadrons. This base on the west coast houses half of them. It covers 45 acres and holds 750 personnel. Each craft costs over $23 million. The Navy has committed $3 billion to this technology. Before, it used to be only pilots that could get all the glory, and now you have enlisted guys that are flying something that costs as much as an F-14 does. So I went from being low man on a totem pole to being a, one of the front runners in technology. If you can envision a jet airplane flying over, you see the airplane and then you hear the noise, that's the same way with our hovercraft. They're very loud, but you don't hear the noise until they're on top of you. The squadron calls itself the Swift Intruders.
LCACs have seen action in the Gulf War and in Somalia, where they withdrew the UN troops. They have also delivered aid in Bangladesh. The hovercraft, a cutting-edge war machine. The challenge for these incredible craft is to find a role in peacetime.